Well, myself and Gary are back on this permission once again. And if it's your first time here and you want to know how to get detecting permission from landowners, tips and tricks and everything else metal detecting related, then make sure you subscribe and come back right after this. Rickton's.com, sponsoring the man with the hat. Now, because last time we were here, Gary found this lovely little umbilate brooch uh, full of corrosion and stuff. I just wanted to show you what he's done with it since then. If you remember how it was, I mean, that looks just remarkable. And it's really sucking in all the, what do you call it, wax. Resin wax. Resin wax. But the pin intact and all that enamel on the top, that's just a gorgeous piece. And it looked like a lump of old iron when he dug it up. In fact, I'd have beat it with a spade or something. He didn't, he knew what it was. Well done, Gary. And he's bought some banana cake for a cake break. So what are you having today for a cake break? Have you got a cake? If not, you've got plenty of time to go and get one. You won't have time to go and make one like Mrs. Bowes did, but you can go to the shop and get one. Right, we'll see what we can find today. All right, today I'm using the white high frequency coil uh, from the ORX and I've put it on my Deus remote box so I can use full tones. Uh, that's what I like best and we'll see how we get on. Oh, what a morning. It's been about an hour so far. Yeah, a bit more than that. And we're so far, all we're finding is horseshoes. Look at the size of that monster. Gary's found one and I found two. Last time we were here, we found, I found eight. I suspect that's either part of a buckle or a fragment of Roman brooch. It's too thick in my opinion and heavy for a buckle. It could well be a fragment of a Roman brooch. 86, 87. Best signal I've had in one and a half, one and three quarter hours. So I've got to do a live dig just in case. You never know. Hey. Let's dig it. I could do with a bit of luck. It's been very poor this morning. Even though I've had a lot more rains, that should make the signals a little bit easier to locate. Now, uh, is it in the hole, the spoil, or the plug? Not in the spoil. Not in the hole. It's in the plug. Right. Could this be my luck changing? I doubt it. <laughs> Come on, where are you? Oh, it's on this side. You're excited. Oh no. It's a button. Oh, another flipping button. And that, I believe, is a bag seal. Looks pretty obvious to me. I'm sure that's what it is. Another pretty sharp signal and another flipping button. And now it started raining. Ugh. Well, to be honest with you, I don't know what that is. It's not a coin. It's a token of some description. That looks like it's possibly George III. It's very thin. It's got the crown at the top. But I will be able to get an ID on that very shortly. That is interesting. I wonder what that is. I reckon it's a gaming token. And that's before I get an ID. Yep, my first proper coin today, ship half penny, 1953, Elizabeth II. Got quite some way to catch up Gary, I think. Now at first glance, I'm not sure what that is. It's a pattern on it, but if you look on the other side, 
you can see how thick it is with the ribbed edge on there and it's not been pressed so in other words no it's not thin copper alloy where the pattern's been pressed on with a machine so therefore it's older than I expected at first glance I thought it was Victorian Edwardian possibly pressed metal but it's not pressed metal so therefore it has to be much older now I think that's part of a buckle I think there's another piece that little loop there I think there's another piece at the top just like it and that bit there is exactly the same on the top there and I'm not sure where the pin bar would be if there was one but I'm fairly sure that's part of a either a medieval or post just into post medieval buckle so if I'm right I'm guessing between 13 and 1550 AD we'll try and get some clarification on that later but that's what I think it is well there's a nice little find I haven't found one of those for ages this one's not a good example I found some really nice decorated ones but you can see it's a rolled up copper tube and it's wider at one end thinner at the other and that's a lace tag you know at modern days we have lace tags don't we we have these little plastic ones well of course they used to be made of copper copper alloy and sometimes really highly decorated so there is a lace tag right Gary what you got can't get them all out can you oh that's nice lovely job spectacle buckle That's about 1450 to 1500, isn't it? That one, yeah. uh, George III, bullhead, shilling, sixpence, sorry, and a Roman. Well, that's a bit of a quiet one, isn't it? I think you've got me today. It's time for a cake break. Whilst Gary's cutting the banana loaf into a big lump, we need to think about our next plan. I think our next plan is to go on that little piece of field that the landowner has just told us we can have. Look at that, got rain on the lens now. In your cake hole. Now that is stunning. I must admit I was a bit confused at first because I got a silver tone. And when I dug it up, it was that way up. And the holes were full of dirt. And I thought, oh, just a penny. I mistook the silver tone for a copper tone for just a penny and then I cleaned it off and it is indeed silver now that is beautiful but I don't know what it is could be a button a bit extravagant for a button maybe it's a dandy button that wouldn't be extravagant for a dandy would it but I've no idea but if if you've got any suggestions I'd really really be pleased to hear I like that well, Gary knows what's in there he says oh brilliant better tell me you found an ordinary one rather than a silver right okay reveal there could be a nest of them in there if there's any more in there, I'm having them. Whoa. Yes. That's a good one. Look at him blinking. He's not seen daylight for a long time. That's drying off nicely. You can just see it even better. I can't make that one out. Is that a deity? Or, or is it a gate or something can't be going out properly but it's a cracker it's the only Roman coin well decent Roman coin today then fantastic if only they ploughed this field we'll be laughing because silvers and Romans and everything else brooches and Saxon cruciforms all come off that land all the time because they turn it over. I just wish they would do something with this one. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed that. We had a great day, but not as good as the week before. And I think you'll be seeing that video next week. I can't remember. But here is the moment you've been waiting for. And that's the winner of last week's video, Coin Ring Giveaway. So here we go. Going to pick last week's video. Select pick a winner. Good luck. Fingers crossed, everybody. Will it be you? The Copper Miner. So thank you so much, Copper Miner, for your support and supporting my channel. If you get in touch with me through the video description, there's ways in there that shows you how to get in touch with me. Just give me your details and I can post it off to you right away. Hey, it's always a great day digging with Gary. He has so much luck and he found the only good Roman of the day, which he well and truly deserves. One thing that he did find, which you've not seen on camera because it was in his junk pile what's one of these yeah it's a ring tab do you know it's the nemesis of every metal detectorist because you think you've got a good target the signal always sounds brilliant a lovely high clo uh, clear high tone and you dig it up expecting maybe something like silver and it comes out as a ring pull. i've been looking for one for two or three weeks with something in mind and when I saw that Gary had got one, I asked him if I could have it. And he unreluctantly agreed to let me have it because it had got the tab as well as the ring. And that's what I was looking for. The reason why is because I had a project in mind. A little bit ironic, really, because my idea was to cast some old silver coins I'd got given by Gary and one or two other people and got some in my own collection, too. They were <clears throat> William IV, Victoria... George III, a couple of Edward the first or seconds, I think. And you can see the coins anyway, as I'm melting them down in my crucible. Because I used that ring pull and tab as a master. I wanted to make my own master copy. You can't really cast something that thin. So I wanted to make a thicker copy. And it took me three days to get it right. But now it looks like this. It's a beautiful piece. I really love it. And I've had six people already say to me, can I buy one as soon as you finish them? So I've got six pre-orders, believe it or not. And you can find them on my Etsy store. And you'll find a link to that in my video description. And everyone is unique. It's individual, handmade. It's got its own historical content in the silver. I also have marked it on the back, 0.925, to show that it is 925 sterling silver. So I hope you enjoy this and I'll catch you just a little bit later at the end.
Well, there you go. That's how I made it. And if you want one, don't forget, they are available in my Etsy store. I've got other things available as well. You can see my Roman wall charts. You'll find links to all these things I've got available in the video description. So if you're not subscribed yet, I've got one or two more videos on the side there, which you might like to watch before making up your mind if you want to subscribe or not. But if you're in the hobby of metal detecting or you're interested in the subject, you want some tips, tricks, want to know how to get a permission and all other metal detecting related stuff, then please subscribe, click that bell icon so you don't miss a thing. I'll catch you later. Steven is a man with a passion for metal detector.